Hello everyone. This is the next addition to my vintage Apple Macintosh computer collection. I just picked up on eBay a Power Macintosh G3 mini tower. These computers were manufactured from 1996 through 1999 according to Mac Tracker software. This particular Power Macintosh G3 has system OS 9. It also has 256 megabytes of RAM. Comes with floppy drive, CD-ROM drive, and zip drive. Also, if we move around to the back of the machine, we see on the back of the machine SCSI port, ADB port, Ethernet port, serial modem and serial printer, monitor, power, microphone and sound out, and two USB ports. So it's actually quite a nice machine. I'm going to go ahead and boot up this system for all of us on YouTube. It boots up off of the keyboard power switch here. green light is on and it's beginning to start up If any of you can tell me what these extensions are that are loading, obviously that's QuickTime. I'm not sure what some of these others are. And system's up and running. this computer. Mac OS 9. Version Mac OS 9.0.4. Built-in memory 256 megabytes. Virtual memory 257 megabytes used on the hard drive. About the hard drive. It's an eight and a half gigabyte hard drive has seven just about seven gigabytes available one and a half gigabytes used on the disk some of the software applications that we find here we have a CD audio player graphing calculator QuickTime security simple sound Mac OS 9 application Sherlock 2 which is a wonderful way to search not only the computer but also the internet. Office 2001. Hard Disk Toolkit. We have Adobe Photoshop, which is a quite interesting software package that I really know very little about. So I'll have to explore it. I don't have any photos on this computer to, to open in it. But uh, you always hear people say, oh, that photo's been photoshopped. So it wants me to adjust color settings. I don't want to do that. 
So we'll drop out of that. We have QuickTime, Netscape Communicator, Stuff at Expander 5.5, Tech Tool. Tech Tool is an interesting little software package that will tell you how long your hard drive's been in use. This says eight hours of use since the installation of Tech Tool. So that's an interesting software package. Internet Explorer 5. And that's really about it. I have one game on here, which is a Star Trek Elite Force, which is a Star Trek Voyager based first person shooter game. Uh, you have to have the CD run that. Oh, we're at six minutes into this, so I suppose we could give that a whirl. Because YouTube limits the time that you have for videos. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. This is an example of uh, the game, Star Trek Elite Force, and uh, I don't think that there's anything, there's nothing to load. So we do a new game, and it will take its time loading that up. as time continues to tick away. Not sure how much of this I'm going to get to show you because of the time limit. But here's more proof that Macs can do games and that the myth that Macs do not do games on Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact yeah, with many me dangerous this. and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the IMOD is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. That's my reflection in the monitor. I'm not part of the game. Monroe to Tuvok. I've been cut off from the rest of the hazard team. I don't know where they are. Mr. Monroe. We have isolated your team members' life signs. Nine they appear minutes. to be trapped in the tertiary power modulation chamber. Rescue them at any cost. Well, we might get to see a little bit here, but not much. What? Here we go. Here's the game. Uh, let's see. Blast something. I've uploaded your mission objectives and tactical information. Review it now before proceeding. Oh, please. Just give me something to shoot at. Oh, he's not happy. Oh. Hard to see. Oh, there's somebody like right there. A whole slew of them. Anyway, we're up to 10 minutes, so that's an example of Star Trek Elite Force on a Macintosh, a Power Macintosh G3. Thanks for watching.